The Seminoles are only able to get in one game before the rain, but they made the most of it, picking up a win over USC Upstate as Lacey Waldrop threw another gem, tossing complete game shutout with just three hits allowed. They've always been a, a very scrappy team, postseason team, great pitching, swing the bats aggressively. So um, I think, you know, spring break is always tough. So you kind of go on the road and you got some off time, and so to rally around a, a game that, that no students are in town, I thought the girls did a really good job. She's very special to watch every time she gets out there, and so uh, I know uh, I always tell her, like, oh, Lacey, we're going to miss you so much. You know, it's just fun to play behind her. It's fun to call pitches for her. She's a competitor every pitch. Uh, she raises the bar for the team every time she's out there. Notre Dame's coming in. Um, Gosh, they, they've kind of played the same schedule we have. They've been out in very competitive tournaments early on. Uh, they lost one of their horses in the circle last year, and so I think they've been trying to find who is going to be pitching for them. And it may be pitched by committee for them, which um, they've been doing quite well. We know it's going to be a dogfight. We're excited for that. I, I think it's awesome, too, that it's at the end of spring break, for the fact that we get to rest up for them and really get to plan for them. And I think for the ACC, this is an awesome opportunity for people to see two of the top teams get after it. The Seminoles will stay in Tallahassee this weekend as they'll take on another ACC opponent, Notre name Saturday and Sunday. Stay right here at Seminoles.com. We'll have your complete Seminole coverage. At the Softball Complex, Jonathan Schlacey, Seminoles.com.